What's going on everybody? My name is Chris the Chaos Gamer and welcome to the UPBA Week 6 Team Analysis or at least, at least this half of the video is a Team Analysis. I'm your coach for the St. John Sharpedos and Week 6 we fought Revez Surge, 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 I can't talk today, um, of the, oh my god, why did I, why am I forgetting, oh, of the West Virginia Weeping Bells, <laughs> this is gonna be one of these days, so, before we get started with the team analysis, I just want to say that this particular battle, just my, I'm, I'm gonna give my thoughts on on the battle before I go over the team. Um, easily the best match I've had in the UPBA so far. Despite it being a loss, and you'll see in the battle itself, one part of the match itself <sighs> kind of. The best way I can explain it is that the, like I said, it was easily the best match I've had all season. So, like, hands down, best match. But the way I could, I could have easily have won it if it wasn't for one, uh, one point in time near the end. It was like a six. It was like a sixty-turn battle. It wouldn't have been sixty turns if uh, if this particular thing didn't happen. You'll see in the you'll see in the replay. But it made me a slightly salty. Um, you, you and you and like I don't know. I could have won it. I really could have. To to show to show the you know what? Support the salt by going into the comments down below and use the hashtag chaos salt. <laughs> uh anyway. So this is the team that I ran. You'll see it over here. You'll see it over here, like I do with every other team analysis video that I do. The team that I used for Revez Surge of the West Virginia Weeping Bells. So, with doing up the team, I noticed that he had a very prominent weakness to bug. So, I figured having uh, Buttle Buddy, our Araquanid, be basically be the the main guy of this week and I just thought, oh no that's just reflection okay thought something was on my keyboard um yeah so I figured um a rockwinid would bubble buddy our our rockin with a rockwinid I can't I don't know why I can't talk today <laughs> this is very unusual um but yeah we have bubble buddy our rockwinid of course he's our z user um, and with his ability Water Bubble, water, Waterium, Waterium, Waterium Z with Liquidation is deadly. Um, and you'll see it in the battle, it completely took, um, took out Tornadus in one hit. Uh, like I said, you'll see it in the replay anyway. I'm not going to talk too much about the replay itself because I'll, I'll, I always put it in the battle anyway. Um, so, like I said, we have Bo Bubble Buddy R Rock when it holding Water EMZ with Water Bubble as his ability with Leech Life, Liquidation, Toxic, Waterfall. I chose Waterfall, um, or I chose Leech Life, I'll, I'll go over each of it. I chose Leech, Leech Life for the same reason that I said earlier, was that he had a prominent weakness to grass, especially, like, three or four of his Pokemon. Out of his out of his entire eleven, had like a weakness to bug, if I remember correctly. Um, so I figured Leech and 
because of his because of Araquanid's defense, uh, Leech Life will also prolong his life in the battle because he where he heals 50%. Um, liquidation. Liquidation is the strongest stab move that a Rockwind has. And power that up with Water EMZ with his ability Water Bubble that makes, if I remember correctly, makes Water mo uh, water Type moves two times powerful. It's just absolutely insane deadly. Um, toxic in case there's, uh, just in case there's, uh, just in case I'm predicting a switch. Um, which I don't remember actually happened or not, but I had it there basically so that some sort of status gets dealt, uh, and I'm predicting a switch, and I couldn't really think of a move to put into the last slot, so I chose Waterfall. Um, I think I chose it because of its chance to flinch, even though it's really slow, um, but... Mix that in with Water Bubble um, makes it uh, makes it pretty deadly too. I mean, yeah, Liquidation is 85, whereas um, oh sh I just messed my I I messed uh, my team builder up. Um, where is that? Liquidation, Toxic Waterfall. So anyway, yeah, so that's that. Um, I also gave him max EVs in attack and defense. Attack for sure, because with that water bubble, water EMZ, liquidation, hydro vortex. Mmm. Mmm. So good. You'll see it in the replay. <laughs> I don't know why I just made a, like, a restaurant thing. Um, he was also adamant nature. Um... And he had the rest in special defense. Uh, next up is we had Spartacus, our, our Mega Gallade with Protect, Ice Punch, Knock Off, and Close Combat. I remembered to put Protect on him this time. <laughs> I almost did put Sword Stance on him. Um, the reason why for Protect is because he doesn't gain. Excuse me. He doesn't gain any when he Mega Evolves, which he has to Mega Evolve on the first turn that he's out. Um, he doesn't gain any of the stat increases until the following turn. So I have Protect there so that he, the, the, the first full turn, he's, he's uh, Mega Glade. Um, he basically starts off basically with full HP. Um, Ice Punch because he, do, he did have a few Grass Pokemon, which of course have a, uh, which has a weakness in Ice. Uh, knockoff because it's knockoff. Six sixty base power, one hundred and twenty if they're holding an item, which in league, which just in any sort of league play, every Pokemon is going to have an item. So knockoff is a guaranteed easy one hundred and twenty power every time you hit a new, basically a Pokemon. Um, and one in particular, I almost killed it in one hit, but. You'll see it in the replay anyway. And close combat because it's the strongest stab move that he has. And uh, league play, there's a lot of uh, switches. So close combat, he gets the defenses drop, both physical and special defense, and then just swap them out. By the time he comes back out again, he still has his attack and uh, he still has his, um, he doesn't have the uh, stat decreases. So we just keep using close combat. Um, I gave him his stats across his stats. I gave him max EVs and attack and speed uh, with the rest in HP. So pretty standard. Um, I gave him Jolly Nature this time instead of Adamant. Uh, give him a little bit more speed. So that's that. Next we have Orochi, our Hydreigon, who is Choice Scarfed uh, with Levitate as, as his ability. With Dark Pulse, Draco Meteor, U-Turn, and Fire Blast. Um, pretty standard set for Hydreigon. Um, same set that I ran last time, I think. Um, I ran Fire Blast for the same reason I ran Ice Punch on Blade, because where he has a few weaknesses to Grass, and um, as well as for Pesky uh, Steel-types. 
Um, so Dark Pulse because it's strong, basically strong, uh, like the easiest spammable uh, Dark move, Dark type move that he has. Uh, Draco Meteor because who doesn't like the big red button? U turn in case there's something there I want to switch out to. Um, who can take a hit, which did actually help out a nice bit. Um, so yeah, so I gave him max, uh, max special attack and max speed. Um, definitely gave him max, uh, max speed because where he's holding that scarf, he would he basically, so that he would outspeed everything. So, that's that. Uh, next is Lando Calrissian Arlanderus holding the life orb with Sand Forces' ability. Um... Um, just in case anyone is, was wondering why I'm not running Sheer Force is because Sheer Force is actually banned in this particular league, in this in the UPBA. So, normally I would be running Sheer Force, um, but we decided to not run Sheer Force in the league, so whoever gets Landorus had to use Sand Force, which is fine. Which is fine. Sand Force is fine. Um, I gave him moves Rock Slide, Earth Power, Knock Off, and Stealth Rock. Um, Stealth Rock is pretty, uh, pretty standard. Um, uh, yeah, so that you know, if anyone switches out to, uh, if anyone switches, they get the, um, they get the rocks. Uh, knock Off because it's <laughs> for the same reason it's on Gallade. Um, because it's knockout. 120 base power. And with the life orb too, it's gonna be even more. Earth power because it's pretty much this because it's the one of the strongest um, strongest oh my god, why is words forgetting me? The strongest um, Words Why aren't you working now? So, oh, what am I doing? What am I doing with my life? There we go. Um, because it's the strongest special. Now I could have given him earthquake instead, but he did have a. I think if I remember correctly, he did have a mind that. Um, Either that has levitate or is naturally flying, so earthquake wouldn't have done it. So earth power would have been the next best thing, and rock slide. Basically, rock slide is basically for extra coverage. I gave him max attack and max speed. Um, I basically made the basically made the team almost in such a way that they're fast, hit hard, hit fast, and away you go. Next is Cthulhu or Gastrodon holding the leftovers with a Storm Drain as his ability. The good thing about Storm Drain is that Storm Drain actually, um, I predicted a switch, or I predicted a, um, a water type attack. You'll see it in the replay anyway, but <laughs> I predicted a Scald and I swapped out to, uh, to Cthulhu and storm drain activated so i was just like oh my god i hit it so anyway um storm drain because it's like the best ability that he has with the moves skull recover earth power and toxic skull because it's skull 30 percent chance to burn and um and of course as with burning you reduce their your opponent's attack by half uh, recover for longevity, earth power so that it's another stab special attack, a special attack move, and toxic in case uh, anyone wanted to switch into it. I gave him max um, max EVs in HP and defense uh, with four in special with the rest in special attack because of earth power. So and scald too. So how oh, you've. I need to stop clicking on my team builder. <laughs> so, yeah. Last but not least, we have Canada or Adeno, who actually put in some good, good work in the in the battle, holding leftovers with Regenerator as his ability with Wish, Heal Bell, Knockoff, and Encore. Wish and Heal Bell is 
detrimental to uh, was was detrimental to the team, um, especially because there was a few bur there was a few burns going around. I believe there was a few. I think there was a paralyzed too in there somewhere. Um, so wish and heal bell definitely. The, basically, the MVP for this battle, you'll see it, would probably would be Adeno. It would either be Adeno or Bubble Buddy. So, you'll see it in the replay anyway. Um, I gave him max EVs and HP, and 128 in defense and special defense. Um, Wish and Heal Bell, but he, he's, my, he's my cleric, he's my healer. Wish and Heal Bell, guaranteed to be on it. Knock off... Just in case I didn't need any heals. Um, and basically me waiting for him to predict to switch. And Encore in case something didn't hit Adeno very hard. And basically could just sit there and take hits while I heal that with Wish. Um, so that was basically the team. Um... And I'm gonna try. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try. Now, I'm not gonna do another update video. I'll do. Uh, I'm not gonna do an update here. Um, but I'm gonna try something a little bit different for next week. I'm gonna try. Remember, I'm gonna try doing another live commentary. Um, I might not commentate a whole lot because I'm just gonna be so concentrated on the battle itself. But at least then you get my reactions. I don't know. Something, uh, it's something I've been considering for a little bit, um, especially where the UPL just started up again. Anyway, that's the team analysis. I'm not, I'm not going to get into it. This is only a team analysis and replay video, so I'm going to talk about this probably in a separate video. I don't know, maybe. So that's my team for week six, week six of the UPBA. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the replay, and I will see you guys next week.